further ado, Thomas Woods. Thanks, George. Well, the book is actually the politically incorrect guide to American history. The correct one, of course, is, the, is all the other textbooks. But I'm so happy to be here for my friend, Murray Sabrin, who I've known for over 10 years now. And I have been a fan of his ever since meeting him at one of these intellectual conferences we tend to uh, encounter each other at. And let me tell you, my friends, Murray Sabrin is the exact opposite of the typical U.S. Senator. Decent, honest, knowledgeable, a man of unshakable moral and political principle, and a great champion of freedom. And his campaign is raising issues that the American population never gets to hear about. Why? Because most American elections are geared around trivialities. Whose haircut was more expensive? Who looks stupider driving around in a tank? These are the issues. And yet, Murray asks the forbidden questions. For example, take the Federal Reserve System. Take the run of the mill people on both sides of the aisle. What do they have to say about that? They both agree. They love it. They say we need central economic planning. We need a central planner running our monetary system. They both agree on that. It was John Stewart, the comedian on The Daily Show, who dared to ask the question when he had Alan Greenspan on his program, why do we need this institution? Couldn't we just have the market set interest rates, you know, the way we do for all other prices? And would you believe, with that one forbidden question, Alan Greenspan was stumped. He sputtered around trying to think of something to say. He couldn't really give a very persuasive answer, and his own supporters were standing around saying, why can't the guy justify his own institution? That's the type of forbidden question that Murray Sabrin asks as a matter of routine. Now, this is exactly the opposite of what the federal government wants. The government always wants to be able to blame other people for its own failings. So for instance, they institute price controls, so you have shortages, let's say shortages of meat. Do they admit that the shortage of meat is because of their current price control? No! The meat shortage is because the farmers are hoarding it. We've got to go out there to the farms and get the meat from the farmers. Or prices are rising. Why is that? Could it be because their own institution is printing up money and diluting the value of our dollar? No, it's because of wicked big business or grasping labor unions or rising oil prices or something. There's always some scapegoat. But Murray Sabrin is about to put an end to the old game because Murray knows who did what and he's coming to Washington. Now Murray will be in my opinion, the greatest victory that the freedom movement has ever had, we have a U.S. Senator who is going to preach the true message of freedom in season and out. Imagine the potential for this. Murray single-handedly can change the political debate in this country. He can ask those unaskable questions. He can make these scoundrels squirm. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you can't put a price tag on that. We need to give Murray the resources he needs to win this battle, because it is winnable. I flew up here from Alabama. It's freezing up here. There's no reason I should be up here. If I didn't think this was winnable, I would have said, Murray, I'll send you a check and we'll see you later. But I came up here to help rally some support for Murray Sabre. Because what a victory it would be. Right across from the biggest media market in the country, six years of a man who will preach the pure message of freedom. You know, on this spot, Bowling Green Park right here, a couple centuries ago, there was a statue of King George III. And in, in July 1776, a mob of people came here and toppled that statue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of aging icons of the U.S. Senate who could stand to be toppled, and Murray is just the man to do it. So let me introduce to you... Let me introduce to you a man I am proud to call my friend, a great...
great champion of freedom and the next senator from New Jersey, Dr. Murray Sabrin. Woo!